New at six, just because we've seen so many families and unaccompanied minors at the border doesn't mean that other migrants aren't still willing to risk their lives entering the country illegally. So says a forensic anthropologist who has examined the remains of those who have died trying. Jesse DeOgato talks to a Texas State professor and one of her students about the ongoing efforts trying to give families the answers they need. Not only was the work in a Zapata County Cemetery slow and tedious for these students from Texas State. It was emotional when we actually reached the remains. This was Robledo's first exhumation. Forensic anthropology students have done nine of them throughout South Texas, starting in Brooks County. It's where Texas State first joined Baylor and the University of Indianapolis in recovering more than 100 remains, the school's largest exhumation yet. What are often just skeletal remains was someone who had a life and a family somewhere. They saw them one day and then they went missing and they don't know what happened. Yet Kate Spradley says of the 300 or so remains at the Texas State Lab, only 43 have been identified. Big reason being, she says, transnational identifications are difficult. She says data banks here do not allow families outside the U.S. to submit DNA samples. The DNA database is proprietary to the FBI and they are unwilling to allow that data to cross transnational boundaries. Instead, to help its ongoing search, Operation ID relies on a database set up by the Argentine Forensic Anthropology Team, a globally recognized scientific nonprofit based in Argentina. So that makes it easy for us because they work on behalf of multiple governments. At least in Zapata County, Spradley says they had what Brooks County didn't have at the time, maps of where the unidentified were buried. They were able to take us right to these unidentified human remains, which is a luxury we've never had before. The first step in giving families the answers they may not want to hear, but when they do. And you can see a huge sense of relief. You can just see that on their faces, even though they're devastated. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.